Charles Leclerc secured a remarkable victory at his home Grand Prix for Ferrari at Monza, finishing ahead of McLaren drivers Oscar Piastri and Lando Norris. Ferrari adopted a bold one-stop strategy for Leclerc, adjusting their plan during the race, which allowed him to leapfrog the McLarens, who opted for the more conventional two-stop approach. In the final laps, Leclerc had to defend against the fast-approaching McLarens, narrowly holding them off to win by 2.6 seconds, much to the delight of the Ferrari fans in the stands. Max Verstappen of Red Bull only managed to finish six, and with Norris securing the fastest lap, his lead in the championship was cut down by eight points to 62, with eight races remaining. McLaren also closed the gap in the Constructors' Championship, trailing Red Bull by just eight points. McLaren initially seemed poised for a 1-2 finish after locking out the front row and qualifying. Piastri led Norris for half of the race, having overtaken him with a daring move around the outside of the second chicane on the first lap. This maneuver also allowed Leclerc to pass Norris, pushing him down to third during the first stint. Attempting an undercut, Norris made his pit stop before Leclerc, who reacted by pitting on the following lap. McLaren's strategy succeeded in getting Norris ahead of Leclerc, prompting a frustrated radio message from the Ferrari driver. To maintain fairness between their drivers, McLaren pitted Piastri, ensuring he retained the lead. The race then appeared to be a contest between the two McLarens for the win. However, Norris began to struggle with tire wear, losing pace and dropping back to five seconds behind Piastri. This forced McLaren to make a second pit stop for Norris with 21 laps remaining, with Piastri following suit six laps later to protect his lead. Leclerc, meanwhile, was left leading his teammate Carlos Sainz by over 10 seconds, with Piastri chasing them down. Ferrari decided to gamble on a one-stop strategy, recognizing it would be challenging given the early first pit stop. Both drivers managed to make it work, although Sainz fell back to fourth behind the McLarens. Leclerc's lead, however, was sufficient to secure one of the most dramatic and unexpected victories of the season. The crowd erupted as he crossed the finish line, marking his second win at Monza for Ferrari, following his first in 2019. After the race, Leclerc described the victory as an incredible feeling, comparing the emotions to his 2019 win at Monza. He emphasized how special winning at Monaco and Monza is, saying these are the races he always aims to win. Piastri expressed disappointment over missing out on the win, acknowledging that the one-stop strategy was the correct choice in hindsight, but felt painful given their position earlier in the race. Norris, though frustrated with third place, took solace in gaining points on Verstappen and maintaining his goal of reducing the gap in the championship standings. Behind signs, Lewis Hamilton finished fifth, comfortably ahead of Verstappen, who had a challenging race. Red Bull's decision to start both cars on hard tires, unlike the rest of the top 10 who began on mediums, was questioned by rival teams. Verstappen's strategy was further complicated by a slow pit stop, which effectively ended his chances of a better finish. George Russell in the second Mercedes won a battle for seventh with Verstappen's teammate Sergio Perez. Russell, who started third, fell to seventh after a mistake at the first corner damaged his front wing. Rounding out the top 10 were Williams' Alex Albon in 9th and Haas' Kevin Magnussen in 10th. 